Michaela's here. Avoid legal snags by telling people they're being recorded. Hey, you guys, you're being recorded. Why oh, is there just a snags. double Daryl? I was wondering that, too. There's two of me? Yes, not a double Daryl. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, we can, oh, we can pick. Not really. Oh, that's just different. Okay. Okay. Ready? All right, let's do this. You're doing David, I'm doing Eric? Yes. Okay. Welcome to the downtown, brought to you by Arlington's... Nope. Nope, let me yep. do it again. Not let me do it one more time. I wasn't. I wasn't. I Like, you guys were talking before, and I was like, oh, shit, they're talking Ooh, about process. Hot. No, like, my brain didn't process what you said until after I started talking. Okay. All right, let's do this. Welcome to the downtown, brought to you by Arlington Citizen Media. I am Daryl Smith Jr., and across the internet for me is... I am Rody John, and to my right is... Amy. On today's show, we talk to David Conant about Arlington Nights, what he and Alicia have been up to, and what the future holds past COVID. I would go with that one again. I would absolutely go with that one again, yeah. too. Well, just the, you could just do the last part, after the what, the future, not the future. Yeah. All right. Let me just start. Okay. Yep, that's fine. On today's show, we talk to David Conant about Arlington Nights, what he and Alicia have been up to, and what the future holds past COVID. And we also sit down with Eric Quills, the head coach of the North Texas Soccer Club, about the age range of the players, passing on passing on his years of experience of play. So I'm sorry. Yeah, why don't you start over? Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> just gonna mess We've it up had a good day today. We also sit down with Eric Quills, the head coach of the North Texas Soccer Club, about the age range of the players, passing on his experience as a player and his thoughts on the World Cup coming back to the DFW. So what has everyone been up to? I have had TJ's Catfish and Wings here in South Arlington. I've had them twice this past week. Um, be good. For National Wing Day, for one, and for just lunch with my parents on another day. When was National Wing Day? That was uh, last Wednesday, the 30th? No, 29th. To be fair, every Wednesday is Wing Day in my heart, so. There we are, yeah. What else have you been up to? I also had um, brunch at Legal Draft with my parents. We swung by Eskimo Hut on the way home to get some daiquiris. And why did you have lunch with your parents? Oh, my birthday's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So we are celebrating an Arlington Citizen Media birthday, yeah. our second one, second one yeah, we for had a, We had a full recording day on Daryl's birthday. Right? We did, didn't we? And I left yeah. early. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. It seemed like a lifetime ago that that happened. Back in the before times. Right. Yes. Um, but, Rody, you're also going to take a little trip for your birthday. Where are you going? Yes. We're gonna, we rented a house down in San Marcos, and we are going to – it's going to be about eight or nine of us, and we're going to be very safe and not go anywhere else but that house. So, I mean, there's no real reason to leave the house. It's going to be COVID all over that house when you get there. So much COVID. Like, like ants. They're just yeah. going to be – it's coming in through the windows. Mm-hmm. That's how COVID works, right? COVID ants. Yeah. That is the next M. Night Shyamalan movie. Mm-hmm. I hope the twist is better than the last five of his movies. I'm sorry. I'm dogging on M. Night. I I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. He's made movies and I haven't, so. Yeah. Yeah, spoiler alert. It was the ants. It was the ants. Um, It's like the happening, (laughs) too. COVID ants. What have you been doing? Nothing. Trying to prevent COVID. Uh, Um, No, I have been. uh, I didn't go anywhere. I've been working on my house mostly. I guess I go to Lowe's a lot now <laughs> uh, because I have to buy stuff for, huh? Do they know you by name? No, uh, because I wear a mask and I don't talk to anybody because I uh, the aforementioned trying to pre- prevent COVID. Um, so I'm in and out. I'm like Batman. Just <laughs> I don't even pay. Um, just, I take take lumber with me and just run out. They don't stop me. Uh, cause, are you going to stop a guy? Shoplifting. That's shoplifting. Oh, oh that's why they're. That's why they won't let me back to the one in Fort Worth. That makes sense. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I pay all the time, um, and I go to the one in Arlington because you know you want those tax dollars to go to Arlington. Yep. 
But no, that's what I've been up to. I did try to make some more sun-dried tomatoes, but the ants right. uh, ate them. Until someone clued me in on a, a really good idea next time when I have more tomatoes next summer, put it in a moat, like a bin full of water. Oh. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Our friend Jenny was like, uh, at the UT Field Lab in Austin, they have a moat for that kind of thing. And I said, oh, my God, perfect. I have a giant tub. I can make. And now you I, have to build a moat? No, I'm just going to use the giant tub. I, the moat seems like too much work. Also, I'm not sure that they'll let me do it. I'd have to tear up the street, I think, to get a real moat. Oh, that in front be, of your house. Oh, yeah. Well, a mm-hmm. moat in front of your house would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but they just redid the streets, so. All right. City of Arlington, if you're hearing this, I'd like a zoning permission for moat building. Mm-hmm. Yep, moat building uh, over by the hospital, uh, bring people out. Uh, it's a tourist attraction, you know. More moats in Arlington. More moats in Arlington. That's what I'm going to run on when I run for city council. More moats in Arlington. Perfect. Okay, that's is that it. The math <laughs> was great. I don't know how you can do better than more moats in Arlington. More moats in Arlington as we fade into some guitar music. All right. Beow, 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 beow. Thank you. So, are you ready? <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much for our guest, David Conant. Always great to see you. Um, we always support Arlington Nights. Mm-hmm. You guys check that out, whether it's virtual or in person. That is the best place to find out and make connections with live music in Arlington. Mm-hmm. Um, Eric Quills of the North Texas Soccer Club, thank you for coming out. We always love you guys. Please um, contribute to us online and... Go out and support your North Texas Soccer Club this coming Saturday. They are at home. And check the uh, schedule for the next time they are at home is also. And where is home? Home is Globe Life Park here in Arlington, Texas. And while you're at it, make sure to go out and eat local, drink local, and go rediscover your city. Perfect. Was that perfect? It worked out. Okay. Perfect. It's perfect enough for me. <laughs>